Welcome to Athens. We're here for the next six episodes to enjoy some winter sunshine. So let's start the show. to our room. We are staying at the Gallery Residence 26 in Piraeus Port and we've got a junior suite so come and have a look. We have the bedroom over here. Very nice. We have a little seating area over here with a lovely picture of the port from the olden days I guess. And we also have a little balcony. Now you can only get one person in at one side at a time. And Paul, be very careful here, please, because there's not a very high wall and I don't want you falling over or dropping your phone for that matter. But where you're looking now is right down towards the harbour. And I saw a cruise ship there a few moments ago. So if you come back in, down this way, we have our bathroom and we have a lovely shower walk in yeah i'm not going to walk in with all my clothes on and a lovely sink and even a toilet <laughs> which is always important so it all seems to be fabulous let's hope we have a good stay you forgot to mention the kitchen area oh yes yes <laughs> yes there is a kitchen, there's a fridge in here. I forgot because it's behind these, these doors. So we've got a nice little fridge and they gave us two bottles of water. What's in there? That's just a little cupboard. Oh. Uh, they gave us two bottles of water, the rest of the waters are on. And there's a little cooker with rings that work. The only thing is, uh, it doesn't come with any pots and pans or anything like that or utensils, so you'd have to buy those while you're here if you're going to use it. But I don't think we are using it. I think I just wanted the fridge, the, the fridge and the bigger room. So yes, it looks fabulous. And this is where we're staying. Uh, it's an area called Piraeus Port. Is that right, Paul? Piraeus, is that how it's pronounced? So we're going to give you a little look around now, but we will be here again throughout this series. And we're just a block away from the port itself where you can take one of the ferries out to one of the Aegean Islands. One of the first things we do when we go somewhere new is to check out the local area, especially the market. And we found a curry for market just up here. But look at the other side. I actually saw this online before we arrived. There's a town centre, Ikea. Oh, wow. Yeah, so maybe they do Swedish meatballs. Okay, Marcus. Oh, look. Curry for, in we go.
we are noticing that there are cats everywhere. It reminds me of Cyprus. Look at this one. Looking for food. It's going dumpster diving. Pussy! Bye bye. Look, it's like a zoo. We are inside Ikea. Oh, oh look at these. The dog is having a, a tea party. Is this piggies? A Norway pig. Huh? Okay, time for Swedish meatballs. Well, we were too late for the Swedish meatballs, but we did get a Swedish ice cream. So cheers, everybody. Mmm. Nice. I don't mind if I do. Well, wasn't that fabulous? We've just heard the bells of the Metropolitan Church of Agia Triada, Triada. and it is right here at the uh, Piraeus port area of Athens. Wow, so amazing. let's take a little look around.
Welcome to St. Tigma Square. This is one of the main squares in Athens. This is the central stop, isn't it? Well, well it kind of is. It's opposite the Parliament building and it's surrounded by shops and restaurants and this glorious fountain which we want to take a look at as well. And it's also a very important place because we booked a trip on the uh, city sightseeing tour and they offer a free beer and we're going to claim it now from their terminus. Oh, it says public, yeah. You didn't see that. <laughs> so we've got our free tickets. Sorry. So we've got our tickets for our free beer and is in the public store. And she said at the roof garden, I think, the lady on the bus stop. So, oh, wow. Yeah, let's go Excellent. and uh, see. Say that bit again. This is a bit like Borders. Oh, yeah. Borders. It seems to sell, I guess it's like a department store. It sells everything from it Sells TV, like a lot of books. Yeah, TVs, books, kettles, posters. So this place sells everything. Yeah. And it's got a rooftop terrace on the fifth floor, which is where we're going right now. Oh, excellent. And here they are, and we have decided that we're going to eat at the public cafe as well. <laughs> Welcome to Greece. Now, if you're enjoying watching Paul and Marcus on YouTube, then please subscribe. This is Manastariki Station, home of the Athens Flea Market. This street is covered with stalls in the storefronts. There's so much to choose from. So I think it's a really good thing to have a look now to see what they have to offer. This is the Athens War Museum. Let's take a little look around.
This is a North American F86D Sabre Dog. And you can tell why it's called Dog, because if you come over here, Paul, it actually looks a bit like a like a dog to me, doesn't it? The front. I thought it looked like a shark. Well, maybe it should be called the Sabre Shark instead. This is British, look. It's a rapid fire field gun and its origin is Great Britain. Oh, wow. It seems quite small. It doesn't look very safe to me. This is a mountain gun and it also has its origin in Great Britain. Very scary. We came all this way and we found an Irish bar, Ollie Malone's. Welcome to the drinks portion of today's show. While I'm in Greece with Marcus, we have been indulging in Greek cuisine and also trying things that Greeks would try. And one of the things that they would try is ouzo. Um, Uzo is, and I will read it according to Wikipedia, 
Um, Uzo is Greece's national spirit. It is a clear colored liqueur made from grape must, which is unfermented juice remnants pressed from grapes for winemaking and has a very strong anise taste. Along with anise, Uzo may contain other spices like fennel, cinnamon, or cardamom. And it ranges from 37.5 and 50% ABV. This one is 40. So I decided to get this small 50 ml bottle because I wasn't sure what it would taste like, but then I also wanted to see what I was missing and to maybe get some perspective on whether I should be more open-minded about these different types of alcoholic drinks. So this has been pre-chilled in the refrigerator. I'm kind of anxious right now because I don't know how I'm going to react to this. So let's see how this turns out. Okay. From smelling it, it smells like a Jägermeister. So Jägermeister is in that green bottle and it smells of aniseed. Oh my gosh, am I gonna like this or am I going to not like it and do something that the camera isn't gonna like? So why don't I pour a little out? Oh my gosh. And should I bottoms up this? Okay, let me open the ports. Okay. It's very aniseed. It kind of is burning my throat. It's very potent. I think I also taste some cinnamon. I taste licorice, um, which is an interesting combination. Um, would I buy this in the shop? Probably not. Um, I'm very glad I didn't get a big bottle because it would have been not well spent, I would just say that. Um, but why don't I let you have a go, Marcus, to see what you have to say about this. Why don't I give you a, a little bit and then see what you think because I don't just want to pass judgment on this drink without a second opinion. Yes. This is aniseed. Ooh, it's got quite a tingle. I don't think it's overly strong. What percentage is it, Paul? 40. Well, it doesn't taste like 40 to me. It tastes stronger than 40. Mmm, it's actually quite nice. Nicer than I expected it to be. That wasn't my reaction to it. Well, I am glad one of us likes it because I don't think I'm going to touch this again. So I think I will save the rest of this 50 ml bottle for you, if that's all right. <laughs>
this is a really good um, place to have a cafe. We already had our breakfast, but now we are having our 11s and we are having a traditional Ravani cake and you're having a waffle. waffle. Well, I kind of still felt hungry after the omelette, which is strange. Every time I order a cappuccino or a latte, they seem to sort of like think, is it not the done thing? Well, what, why is it on the menu then if people think it's... Maybe people have it later in the day, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, he has cappuccino in the morning. 